to to be able to understand i mean i had the concept but i didn't know the practicality of it i didn't know how to do that but uh, you know after understanding what egoistical love is and after being in there for a certain period and made miserable by it i then saw that a powerful man is not that a powerful man can love somebody and let that somebody be who they are live their own life as they choose to do and still love them at the same time no um, a love free of attachments like I can love you and you can do whatever you want and that's it I mean This is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 9.20 p.m. on the 27th April 2018 documenting step number 48 out of the book Steps to Knowledge channeled by Marshall Vian Samors. Step number 48 it's called True Instruction is Available to Me. It's a 2.30 minutes practice period, kind of like meditation, and it was done yesterday and partially today as well. Uh, instructions. This has to do with, um, it's connected with the last step uh, because it was about the teachers. So instruction, it's what you get from the teachers, but it depends on how you interpret the teachers. But let's see what I write. This is kind of a personal thing, but I decided to write it anyway because it's, it has significance. <clears throat> to be a powerful man, one must know how to love in a free manner. To love in a way that lets the other be who they are and not love who you would want them to be. When I envision envisioned that man I didn't know how to love that way but for me to become that man that powerful man I had to learn uh, thus instruction was sent to me in the form of a woman <laughs> one which I rapidly and deeply fell in love with Guided by the fear of losing that love, I became egoistical and demanding, possessive and sorrowful, which gave me, um, which indeed and rightfully made her want to move away from that, from the relationship, uh, which gave me time to think and analyze my behavior, examine myself. And then I realized it. To become, to become the man I envisioned myself of being, I had to go through that, uh, through that instruction. And in a certain way, destruction as well. Even if at times it was painfully hard. I needed that to become the man. <clears throat> I needed that to become the man I initially only dreamed of being. Baby, this is uh, this is kind of personal, but it, it really fits. And that's all I write for this step. It's personal, but it really fits um, fits the the given step, step number forty-eight. Uh, it is true, like um, now. Having recognized this thing, I can look up uh, of some story of Neville Goddard that he said and that I do understand even from my own life that when you want to become someone, when you work to become that someone, there are some, some things that you have to learn in order to be that someone so to be a powerful independent man which is why i envisioned myself of being it meant that uh, i had to know how to love in a free manner it meant that i couldn't just love somebody in an egoistic way um, you know to be dependent 
upon that love to you know a man is not powerful when his happiness his life depends on another uh that's not being powerful so i couldn't be that man if i didn't learn that and although to me you know meeting that woman and going through all these things had no connection it wasn't related then but now looking back to it it really is connected it's it's i had i had to really go through this painful experience to to be able to understand i mean i had the concept but i didn't know the practicality of it i didn't know how to do that but uh, you know after understanding what egoistical love is and after being in there for a certain period and made miserable by it i then saw that a powerful man is not that a powerful man can love somebody and let that somebody be who they are live their own life as they choose to do and still love them at the same time no um a love free of attachments like i can love you and you can do whatever you want and that's it i mean I don't have to like dig into your life and get you close to me and uh, you know not allow you the free time that you want to that's not a powerful kind of man love a powerful man loves in a manner that lets everybody be who they are allows them the freedom of freedom of expression which he himself demands and has so uh that's that's a really big topic for me i mean it has been a big topic for me like this past weeks but um i now think i got it and that feels really good you know and you know that that which you envisioned envisioned yourself of being is actually working there are there are steps there are teachings uh, there are instructions that are there for you to become that man you just have to recognize them and uh, once you do recognize them as instructions baby it feels so much better and um, yeah you know you're on the right path which is highly important you're consciously aware of that so uh, yeah, I guess this was step number 48. Uh, but I mean, this was a specific, uh, this was a specific and um, personal kind of uh, kind of example. But instructions are avail available to us in everything, actually. It just takes um, a different perspective for us to use, like move away from the perspective from the perspective which we have now if it's not helpful if it's painful and then look in a broader sense to whatever that is it's a relationship it's a fucking car it's whatever it is you have to look at, at it with different kind of eyes with a different perspective to understand the instruction for it if you're not already recognized it but yeah I think this applies to everything in our life, actually. Even, you know, me doing these videos. For me, it's an instruction. It's something I'm learning. And uh, I'm looking forward to do it better every time and every day. So, you know, that's what I choose to do. Because it's what I love to do. And it's what I want to do as well. Both me and my higher me which is one <laughs> but uh, yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video you always know it was a choice i like to i'd like to remind you that it was a choice for you to watch this video i'm glad you took that choice and uh, know that everything you do in your own life is a choice always no matter how uh, no matter how you seem to be bound to do one thing. It's always a choice. 
if somebody points a gun at my head right now and says you better drink this beer or get killed by me it's not like I have to do drink the beer it's, n it's always a choice and there's no you know there's there aren't those two only choices you might perceive them to be only two choices but it's never like that anyway I don't want to go rambling too much here We'll keep it short, we'll keep it simple and knowledge packed, baby. That's how we do. But thank you so much. This has been Ciprian G, documenting step 48 and I'm out, baby. Bam.